Members of the Irving Running Club are gearing up for the regular Monday night run. We probably have a good core 75 that are very dedicated to running at least three to four times a week. Most of the time, those runs are on Irving's Campion Trail. This trail is huge to us. It allows us to run without the fear of traffic. Nice, scenic, beautiful trail. My kid can bike with me. Right now we have a very good uh, trail system. And it's a trail that's about to get longer. Crews are just about finished adding 2.7 miles of trail from the north end of Sam Houston Trail Park under MacArthur Boulevard and into Capel. That'll complete the north end of Campion Trails. It'll give us, on the north end, give us about eight and a half miles. A Dallas County grant is paying for the addition. We've been so fortunate that Dr. Elba Garcia has worked with us very, very closely to achieve a lot of the dollars that we've needed. Every single time they come with a project, they're ready to go, and that makes you know, these opportunities unique. That new section is scheduled to open in the fall and runners are ready. I like the long straightaways because uh, that's when you'll be able to really uh, push yourself and open up for some speed. Elsewhere on the trail, a new canoe launch is under construction at Birds Fort Trail Park. It replaces one that had been at T.W. Richardson Grove Park. Canoe launch had been there for many years, probably 15 years now. The floods of 2015 really eroded the bank of the river all along there and it really wiped out the canoe launch. Because of that, we were able to get some FEMA funding. The city's capital improvement team believes the new location will be less prone to flood damage, more easily accessible, and more visible. Across town, there is also work that will get underway on the southern section. The Campion Trail through Trinity View Park is expected to connect with Dallas's Trinity Skyline Trail by fall of 2019. It's another five mile extension up to Irving Campion. And the progress does not stop there. We'll have another project, Delaware Creek Trail Connector project. That federally funded project will start near Center Park and ultimately connect with the Campion Trail at Mountain Creek Preserve. There's a lot going on. But what generates the most buzz is the idea of connecting the north and south sections of the Campion Trail. That would be nice to have it all one big trail. I've been waiting for that, so hopefully it happens soon. No firm plans for that yet, but the city is studying it. This year I'm looking at all the different property owners and easements that's needed for that project and updating my costs. Well, what we've been able to accomplish uh, in the city of Irving is through donations of land. We've been able to do quite a bit of it, but we're at kind of at a point where we're crossing some waters and we're having to deal with some different obstacles than we have in the past. So connecting north and south will be more expensive than other trail projects, but Dallas County has already allocated some funds that could cover a lot of the cost. The Trail Board of Dallas County, and I want to thank them for the leadership as well, just approved six million dollars to go ahead and close the gap north and south of Campion Trail. If this happens, it will be the longest trail in Dallas County, 23 miles continuous. Already, leaders say the city is seeing benefits from the existing trail. Organized events such as the recent Wounded Warriors Military Miles Run show how the region is capitalizing on Campion. Benefits that could increase as the trail expands. What's really exciting is to connect to the Capel system and to connect to the Grand Prairie system. So both at the north and south we have connected into other cities. Every time you talk about trails you're not only talking about increasing property values, you're also improving health. People like to live and play and exercise around trails. It's economic development for all the cities around. Members of the Irving Running Club tell people all about the benefits they have found here. Benefits not limited to fitness. It's all just very serene and it gives you a chance to clear your mind and de-stress and everything. I just enjoy just the nature aspects of it. I love the renovations that the city of Irving has done and I'm excited for the new part to come open. Adding more opportunities for fitness and recreation on the Campion Trail. Thomas Gandy for City Source.